We are on the campus of Illinois State University inside Redbird Arena, where today we will crown a champion in girls high school volleyball class 2A. And hi again, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Sportsnet and our coverage of the Illinois High School Association. I'm Scott Slocum, along with former Illinois State University player and coach Laura Dombos. Today, we have the Quad Cities area against Central Illinois, Bloomington Central Catholic against Orion. Yeah, Orion's chasing to be perfect. They're looking for 41-0 and zero this year, and Central Catholic's looking to chase their first ever state championship in volleyball. All right, well, if Bloomington Central Catholic is going to win, they have to figure out a way to stop the All-Stater from Orion, Ashton Lee. She had 20 kills yesterday in the state semifinals. Yeah, Ashton Lee leads her whole career in kills for their school and also this season. Definitely somebody Central Catholic's going to be looking to stop. All right, well, Central Catholic is just talented across the board. All kinds of skilled players. Let's talk a little bit about their setter, Maddie Holt. Yeah, Maddie Holt has a more of a balanced team this year, so look for her to try and mix it up and stay balanced. She's a great athlete. She's committed to Wake Forest University. All right, who's the best team in the state of Illinois in Class 2A? Is a Bloomington Central Catholic? Catholic or Orion? We will find out next on Comcast Sportsnet. From the gridiron to the hardwood, on the links or on the track, on the diamond or on the ice, go to prepfilms.com. It's easy. You can order your DVD online. At prepfilms.com, you make the memories. We'll make them last forever. The scene is set. We are ready to play 2A championship volleyball Bloomington Central Catholic against the Orient Chargers. The lineups for Bloomington Central Catholic, Alyssa Osterberg, Carly Napsiger, Maddie Holt, Erica Moore, Kate Horneman, and Sydney Shanks. For Orient, Katie DeBacker, Ashley McCoon, Macy Hancock, Ashton Lee, Alexandra Mack, and Taylor McCoon. Bloomington Central Catholic at the bottom of your screen in the navy blue, the Orient Chargers in their red uniforms chasing a perfect season. It's not often someone is perfect in volleyball in the state of Illinois. In fact, it hasn't happened since 2007, and that man, Jack Wheeler, is chasing history. His girls are a perfect 40-0, and there is J.R. Bannister. He is also chasing history. Bloomington Central Catholics never won a volleyball state championship. Here we go. And serving will be Maddie Holt, and we are underway. Best two out of three. And an error right off the bat from Osterberg, one to nothing in favor of Orion. You know, even though they're 40 and 0, talking to their coach, he talks about they're just looking at the next point, looking for the next win. They're not focused. They know they have a big target on their back, but they're just going for the next point. And Anna Nordstrom serving to start things off, and there already you see the defense from Orion. That is in kill number one for Erica Moore. Only a sophomore, but plays way beyond her years. Good mix up there. We talked about Maddie Holt having to mix it up. First she went middle, then she went out to the outside. Look for them to continue to try and keep Orion off their feet. And speaking of Erica Moore, here she is serving. <laughs> Wonderful dig. That was Mackenzie Smith. Ashton Lee, kill number one, one of many. Yeah, Central Catholic is obviously going to put a lot of focus on Ashton Lee, trying to make sure she has to choose where she's going to hit, and Central Catholic has a good defense. It's kind of strange to say, but Ashton Lee is 6'1", but she plays bigger than that, doesn't she? Yeah, she's very athletic. The same with uh, number 12 who just hit Sydney Shanks. Sydney Shanks. You know, she's 5'9", but she gets up there. She's really athletic. Yeah, there's a size advantage because of Lee for Orion. But the Bloomington Central Catholic girl is extremely athletic, and there's an ace. Taylor McCunn with the ace. That's a quick 4-1 to one lead for Orion. 
5'6 senior Taylor McGunn will serve again. And that is just out. These two teams, every point is going to count. Those service errors might come back, haunt them a little. Sydney Shanks splits her time at Central Catholic between volleyball and basketball. You have to play basketball if you're a girl at Central Catholic, <laughs> don't you? That is correct. And that is their sport. But thanks to J.R. Bannister, they're making a name for themselves in volleyball as well. There's another kill for Orion. And they don't look nervous. They don't look affected by the bright spotlight of Redbird Arena at all. No, they, they are definitely focused today. Carly DeBailey will serve. Actually, Ashton Lee will serve. DeBailey just checking into the game. And a big hit from the left side by Kate Horniman. Her family's synonymous with Bloomington Central Catholic Sports. She had a couple of brothers who were very good athletes as well. And Kate has also verbally committed to Memphis University, so she'll be extending her college career, or high school career into college. That ball is in, hit the line. And that was Maddie Malinowski, the junior middle. As you see, she finds that deep corner and just on the line. Orin will just send it over, and that ball is out. So not a good play, not at all that time for Morian. No, and you see Central Catholic benefiting from good defense. They're able to get that ball up to Maddie, and she's having her choice of two or three hitters each time. Carly Napsiger will serve for the Saints, looking for their first lead. Ball is out, and Orion hangs on. We see what happens to Orion when Ashton, in, uh, when uh, the big gun, Ashton Lee, is on the back row. Yeah, absolutely. And Central's got to capitalize on that, getting as many rotations, as many points as they can while she's in the back row. Serving for Orion will be Macy Hancock, the outstanding setter. That is in. Again, they're having success with that deep left, or excuse me, deep right corner for the middles. Their this setter's the coming back from serving and just finds it right in between the libero and the setter. Malinowski flirting with that line in the back, but she's hit it twice. And Horniman will serve. Bad pass from Ashton Lee. Orion lucky just to get it over the net. And we have net contact by the Chargers. Point for Bloomington Central Catholic. Yeah, we talk about those errors in a tight game like we're expecting this to be today. Definitely need to be a little more disciplined along the net. This is Bloomington Central Catholic's first lead. And that lead, well, actually will disappear because even though it was out, the ball was tipped at the net. So 7-7 the score. And the libero will serve for Oria, and that is Ashley McCunn. Lots of scrambling. A little bit of a break inside for Malinowski. Hit the tape. One thing you've noticed, though, Central is having success with their middle attacks right now. This, their digs are right to Maddie and allowing her, allowing her to choose who she wants to set. Mm. Orion better figure out a way to get Ashton Lee back to the front row in a hurry. She'll come back next rotation. She receives this serve. Nice dig by Lee. They'll go outside this time, and that is long. 
Well, they got Ashton back in the front row, which will be important for him. As we're talking about players, Macy, the setter, she uh, tore her ACL back in basketball season, opted to just go through physical therapy, so she, you see her wearing a brace. But what an incredible young athlete. To yeah, Macy Hancock will play in college, hasn't committed yet. And there's a point for Wilmington Central Catholic. There's Maddie Holt, the junior setter, approaching the 500 set mark for the year. That is in. Central Catholic is finding a way to find those lines, aren't they? They're flirting a little with them, but they're having success with it. You see the block is taken away across, and she finds that line wide open. Holt serves again. Leading by two. Got some good blocking going on. And that is out, longest point of the match. Won by Orion. Fans are out from Orion, no doubt about it. They probably brought more fans than anyone this weekend, the small school level. And Ashton Lee. Strutting her stuff. And that's who they're looking to stop. The left back there for Central Catholic is going to have to be a uh, little Simon correct there and try and step back a little on that. Tied at 10. That ball was outside of the pin. It was close. But the flag goes up from the line judge and Orion back on top. And a Nordstrom sends it across with a left hand. <laughs> Folks, there's a freshman playing, and it's Bailey Kaufman who gets the kill. And Bailey knows all about state championships as her mother is Debbie Kaufman, who's the basketball coach for Central Catholic. And her daughter plays volleyball? I she know. plays basketball too, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I think she might be softball. Ashton Lee answers. <laughs> it's like watching a boxing match somebody throws a punch and then somebody else throws another punch that's just a big time hit Matty Hull couldn't get the dig in that ball is out well there's Jack Wheeler 11th year coaching Orion he's won six 165 volleyball matches. Combination of two schools in the Moline School District for several years. And now after he retired from teaching, he's been at Orion for over a decade. That's out. Lee didn't really time her jump. This is the first trophy this school has ever won. They came to a state in 2000, but did not bring home a trophy. <laughs> Lee making a presence in the middle with blocking this time. It's a good block by Lee, lining up in front of her hitter. Going straight down. And now she'll serve. Well, headbands are a must now, aren't they? They are, but I had bows. <laughs> Did you wear either? Uh, I might be guilty of that, yeah. <laughs> Hardeman from the left. She's so comfortable on that side of the floor. You know, yesterday we talked about Central Catholic as far as, okay, who's their not dominating hitter? And we felt like it was so mixed up that we couldn't really decide, but definitely some people shining through this match. And would you rather have one big gun or several guns? 
You know, I think anybody would want more than one gun, but. Double contact from Lee. For Bloomington Central Catholic, it's biggest lead at two, 15-13. And Nat Ziger will serve. And a serve receiver. You might see a timeout here, and you do. From Orion, and head coach Jack Wheeler. Yeah, Jack's probably wanting to settle his team down a little, talk about what they need to do as far as passing. You see that they're trying to force it a little bit, Ashton Lee. It's a great serve there, just need to get back to Macy. That ball had some movement on it. Yeah, it did. Great serve. The IHSA is competition. Teamwork. Integrity. Determination. Triumph. The future plays here. The Illinois High School Association. We talked about Maddie Holt. The Central Catholic used to run a 6-2. They had a setter, Claire Bow, but Claire had a knee injury causing her to miss the rest of the season, and that happened in postseason. So Central Catholic has had to adjust with Maddie Holt. So hitters had to get used to a new setter, but one thing J.R. Bannister was most complimentary about was the fact that Maddie Holt has really taken on this team and shown that leadership through this injury. Those girls from Orion have only lost seven volleyball matches since seventh grade. True story, seven since seventh grade. They've been playing together since they were in fourth grade. That's pretty amazing to think, one, that that many kids have stuck with this sport all the way through high school and then what they've accomplished with it. Again, a little rough on the service received and they just have to send it across. Gives Hordeman another chance. And she takes advantage, hitting the tape, getting a break. Got a little lucky on this hit as it hit the tape and rolled over. Well, we know she's good. Now she's a little lucky also. <laughs> well, much needed side out for Orion as they climbed to within three. Here's Macy Hancock. You see that brace on her knee. Talked about, you know, she's gotten used to the pain of it. And uh, the players have really rallied to get around her. Yeah, I think this week she'll go in for surgery. Nice job by Moore, keeping it alive for the Saints. And we had net contact by Bloomington Central Catholic point for Orion. Nice work up front by number 19, Carly DeBailey. Ordeman again. Nice work by McCunn. That is out. Both teams you saw specialized there in their defense, getting nice digs up. And they're going to change that. I thought there was contact, and they are calling it. Let's see if we can see it here. Yeah. No, no, there was not. Great camera work by our group. And that was a punch in the gut. All of a sudden, it's a four-point lead for Central Catholic. They changed the call. They originally said point orient. Look at that ace. That's a great ace, aiming for that line. Central Catholic first to 20, a five-point advantage in set one of the 2A state championship. I think they'll probably look to see Ashton run something out of the back row. Throughout the series, she has been hitting back row some. They get the ball to her. Wow. What a hit from Erica Moore. 
And another timeout taken Erica by Orion. Orion. They're going for the line again, that libero. They keep hitting that corner, so we might see some adjustment by Orion there, looking to stop that corner shot. Well, these girls have had a lot of success. Four players played on the state basketball team from a year ago. Volleyball players, soccer players. In the senior class, you go back to junior high, they finished third in the state in volleyball both years. The junior class finished third in eighth grade. The sophomores won state championships in volleyball and basketball as seventh and eighth graders, and the freshmen finished second and third in basketball. Yeah, they're definitely used to the championship run. Well, this Bloomington Normal Area in junior high sports is second to none. Well, the one advantage JR has is he also coaches them in junior high, several of them. 21-15, a six-point cushion, and it is a cushion for Central Catholic. And that will be a point for Orion, much-needed point. Let's see if they can scratch back into this first game. Uh, take it one point at a time, as their coach talks about. Ashley McCunn. That was a lift, and that's a point for the Saints. And serving for the Saints will be Alyssa Osterberg. Moore hits this one long and wide. We really see Orion when Lee isn't up front, how uh, they struggle to find someone to get a kill. Yeah, and those teammates around her are just gonna need to step up. Mackenzie Smith, 5'7", senior, will serve. She leads the team, well, actually second on the team with 38 aces, doesn't get one there. Another point for the Chargers. Orion was taken to three sets yesterday by Shelbyville. That was just the second set they lost in the tournament. And just the fourth set they lost all year. But they're in jeopardy of losing one here. I mean, think about that, 40 matches and you've lost four sets. Maddie Holt, the junior setter, will serve. Quick set to Lee. Great dig. That was Holt. You see Central Catholic putting a lot of pressure on their defense. A great block there, Ashton Lee. Taylor McCurn in the vicinity as well, so they went with a double block. So you see and they get lined it. up here. She's gonna try and go cross, and Ashton Lee's right there. Four-point lead for Bloomington Central Catholic. Orion with the serve. We got Central Catholic tipping now, so that could be a good thing. Another dig from Holt. Orion wanted a lift on Hordeman. They didn't get the call. Here comes the roll. Keeping this ball alive. What a rally. Ashton Lee ends it right there. What a set from Macy Hancock and the kill from Lee. She sees she's picking her angle there. That left back. That's a great swing. I was going to say she should probably stop going Maddie Holt's way. <laughs> Holt's had her number here in this first game. Yes, she has. She went the other side and found pay dirt. 23-20. Timeout taken by Bloomington Central Catholic. You know what's amazing about Central Catholic is, I don't want to say they're lucky to be here, but they survived a match point in the first game of the regional against Decatur St. Teresa, 
saved a match point, came back and won 31-29. That was in the regional semifinals a few weeks ago. And I think in that same match, they were down 24-21 and came back and won that one, 26-24. Never say die. That's right. Anna Nordstrom will serve for Orion. A Horniman from the back, a wonderful, wonderful strike. Hardeman with four kills in this first game. She's hitting 364. And this is set point. And it's only fitting that they go to big number 11. And nothing like making match point with that kind of power down the line for the Central Catholic. An impressive opening game for the Saints, 25-20. As you look at this, she sees that line, and man, and man. Again, it's that corner on that right back. One game to nothing, Central Catholic in the 2A state title game. The IHSA is success. Teamwork. Overcoming adversity. Dedication. Tradition. The future plays here. The Illinois High School Association. Bloomington Central Catholic, the Saints, one game away from their first ever volleyball state championship. Interesting first game when you look at the numbers as you break them down. You know, we talk a lot about kills and assists and things like that, but you're looking at the digs. How important were those in that first set? Well, if you look at Central Catholic, they had 29 digs and Orion had 23. So when I look at that, I see six more opportunities that Central Catholic had to set up. Maddie Holt had the opportunity to set up. And obviously serving was a big factor. You know, they kept Orion out of system. When we talk about out of system, meaning she doesn't have the luxury of picking who she wants to set more than one hitter. And then obviously Herdeman is just dominating the outside game right Yeah, now. she certainly is. Uh, Herdeman hitting 417, five kills. And look at Ashton Lee. She's had 19 attacks already in five kills. And I think that's a great point to bring up because all season she has averaged 470 percent, which for a middle that's outstanding. But to keep her down to 105, I think J.R. Bannister, Central Catholic Saints are doing a good job. And Jack Wheeler is going to have to reach back into the experience as Bloomington Central Catholic feeling very loose, enjoying the. <laughs> Music, sights, and sounds of Redbird Arena. And there's a smile from Carly Nafziger. That's really what it's all about. People wonder why kids play sports. That's it right there. Win or lose, it's fun. A little Beorian looking to come back. Remember, they were taken to three games yesterday, so they've experienced that here. But a rough start for the Chargers. They fall behind 1-0. Well, they definitely are going to be looking to get Ashton Lee involved. We talked about their offense it revolves around Ashton Lee, so they definitely have to get her going. Good dig. That was Mackenzie Smith. Should be an opportunity here for Lee. Ornament, good save. That's in. Ashton Lee will play next year at Minnesota State in Mankato, Minnesota. Over 900 kills for her career. And look at this, she has two blockers on her. She doesn't care, she's going swinging. <laughs> she's got the green light, doesn't she? Yeah. 
Shanks will get her first kill. And one of the things we noticed in the first game, she did not have a kill. No, she did not. In fact, she was hitting negative. What a great name for volleyball, by the way. Shanks? Like, yeah. Better than being a golfer <laughs> named Shanks. <laughs> that ball is out. Be a point for Orion. Didn't miss by much of a kill for Ashton. There's a good look there at Maddie Holt headed to Wake Forest next year. Now the beat goes on for Hardeman. Again, yeah, she's really taking advantage of that line. And don't blame her, they haven't stopped her yet. You can see her, they don't give her much line, but she's finding enough to take it. Not sure what else we can say about her. She is on fire. This is Shanks. Oh, great serve. Took a nosedive. And we'll get double contact on the setter. I really think you need to credit uh, Central Catholic serving. Yes. If we've been looking at the serve receives, Maddie is really having to go past the 10 foot line a lot of times to get these passes on serve receive. Again, we look again past the 10 foot line. Good placement that time from Katie DeBacker, the 5'9 junior, second on the team in kills with over 180 on the year. Yeah, finding the nice middle of the court. Doesn't have to be powerful sometimes. Just get it down, and she was able to do that. Ashton Lee will serve. Trailing by one. And that's long. So the Saints go back up by two. You know, watching Ashton Lee serve a little bit ago, she does a little bit of a jump serve. You don't see too many girls here, at least this weekend in the state tournament, using the jump serve. Are they getting away from that? Yeah, I think you're seeing more of the float serve, which the float serve's harder to receive. A top spin serve with a jump, uh, it goes off your arms. It's pretty easy. But in Redbird Arena with the air movement, too, the float serve can be very tough to receive. That's long, and I think you've seen from some of the shots from behind the court, the ball move around a little bit. Yeah, and that's definitely hard to track when you're trying to pass. Hordeman again with the kill just long, though. Here's the setter, Macy Hancock. Good block that time up front. Carly De Bailey got her hands on it. That's good. Horman's been hitting the line, and you saw that Orion moved over trying to take that line shot away from her. Also in the vicinity there was Alexandra Mack, who's just sophomore. 5-5, five, five, game two. Central Catholic won game one. And Orion will climb on top for the first time here in the second set. J.R. Bannister, 105 wins in four years. McCunn's had some really nice digs this set. And that will be a kill. Malinowski's been hot on the inside, hasn't she? Yeah, she has. That's her seventh kill, Malinowski. She's kind of a quiet leader. You don't notice she's got that big banger for you, but she'll find a way to get that ball down and get some kills. And she's hitting 357, I'll say. And a kill right back at Bloomington Central Catholic from Katie DeBacker. Yeah, you're seeing Orion kind of that momentum change keeps going back and forth, but definitely a different uh, posture about them on this game. A kind of serve. Quick set in the middle. 
and that is out. So Orion has a two-point lead. You see Orion more in system now. Macy's getting there to the ball, passes are getting a little bit further up. Good defense this point by both teams. Point, Bloomington Central Catholic. What do we have over the net? No, it was a back row attack. Oh, back row went attack. Up to try and get that ball. And any time she touches the ball over the height of the net and she's back row, it's a back row attack. Whether or not it stays on our side or her side. Osterberg to serve. Down one, but up one game. Lee had trouble with that serve receive, and that'll be a point to tie things up. It's exactly where we were in the first game, 8-8 after 16 points. Definitely even, evenly matched teams here. Oh, nice placement from Taylor McCunn. I should note that McCunn in the front row and McCunn in the back row are twin sisters. <laughs> That's right. Getting the pass and the kill. Yeah, if you think she's way. all over the place, there's two of them. <laughs> and they're both all over the place. <laughs> Serving is Mackenzie Smith. Oh, great dig. Each McCunn has had a dig on this point. This is a scrambling rally. Probably the longest one we've had this match yet. Hancock with the set. Ashton Lee. How many times have we said her name already today? <laughs> what a great point. I think we need a timeout after watching that. That was a nice <laughs> long rally. Wore me out. Chargers go up by two. Shanks tried to go with a dink and missed outside wide. Chargers taking a little lead here, having the momentum with them. And a timeout taken by J.R. Bannister. We're in the second set. Bloomington Central Catholic leads one to nothing, but trails eight to eleven. The IHSA is motivation, effort, innovation, emotion, community. The future plays here. The Illinois High School Association. Talent on the floor. We knew this was going to be a good one, and these two schools are delivering Orion from the Quad Cities area against Bloomington Central Catholic, the hometown girls. Both teams looking for their first ever state championship. Orion's looking to go undefeated, become the first team to do it in Illinois High School Volleyball since Crystal Lake Central in 2007 when they went 42 and 0. And if Orion did it, they'd be the first 2A team to do it since the schools, since the classes went to four classes. Well, before we went to timeout, we saw Orion there tipping on Central Catholic in their hole. And now we have Central Catholic having success finding that open area in right front. 
We had one of the St. Girls in the net. That'll be a point for Orion. Good look at Ashley McCunn, one of the seniors. A libero, that's why she wears a different colored jersey. She's also a very good soccer player. Back set to Lee, and that's a kill for Ashton. That all set up with that nice pass to Macy so she could get Ashton Lee involved, which we talked about that first game. They weren't able to get her involved as much, and she's really good at the slide or right behind the setter. Her eighth kill. The freshman Kaufman is blocked by Lee. Well, you see there when she high fives her teammates, she's a head taller than anyone else <laughs> out there, literally. Well, and it's important for Orion to get these points now while Ashton Lee's in front row. We talked about that. And yet another point for Orion with Lee causing trouble for Bloomington Central Catholic. And look for J.R. Banster to try and settle his team down here and get one point side out. Six point cushion for the Chargers. Make it seven. If you're new to volleyball, it's just like any other sport. Momentum means everything. Especially with rally scoring when every play, somebody's going to get a point. In games like this, it's important. Yeah, when that gentleman first started coaching way back when, there wasn't rally scoring. Those were some long games back then. <laughs> Shanks blocked by Lee. And a kill for Kaufman. Big play by a freshman coming in this floor, state championship. Very mature for her age. Just the way nice. she moves, the way she carries herself. Oh, nice right side player. And always tell coaches kids. <laughs> oh, great job by the Saints to stay in the point. Lee calling for it. She gets it. Again, going for that slide. She likes going behind the setter. That is out. Little missed time there between Hancock and Lee. That was really close to the end line. Jared Bishop loving the warm weather here in central Illinois today with the shorts on. My guess is, though, on a cold day, he wears those also, right? <laughs> yeah. Great dig from Maddie Holt. Three consecutive points now for the Saints. Yeah, start looking to take off that lead just a little each time. Claire Swanson, a sophomore, will serve. Down four, up one game. Again, another very competitive point between these two teams, evenly matched. Oh, nice up. Very nice up for Mackenzie Smith. But point for Bloomington Central Catholic. Horteman hit it cross court. Smith did a great job. But to no avail. Now we're within three. Or Central Catholic is within three. Shanks pushes it over. Hancock will return the favor. And we're going to get called. And that was good by a double Hancock. Hit. You know, they're expecting her to go to Ashton Lee. She dumps the ball over, caused some confusion within the Central Catholic defense, and it led to a mishandling of the ball. Yeah, make them think about something. And quite frankly, probably give Lee a little bit of a blow. I mean, <laughs> 35 attacks already. 17-13. Yeah. Akunda surf.
Lee over the top, so versatile. They're really picking on Central Catholic in that middle of the court. They've had success tipping. They've also had success hitting, so it's a good mixture. The lead is five for the Chargers. Well, Ashton Lee, right? I mean, Lee here, Lee there, Lee everywhere. <laughs> well, I think we've talked about it quite a bit, but it is important to have Ashton Lee in the front row when you're trying to get points on the board. She right. can block, she can hit. And actually, she's been digging very well in the back row for us. She has been, yes, she's she's been very good wherever she's been placed on the floor. 19-13, this match looks like it's headed to three sets. IHSA is sportsmanship. Competition. Pageantry. Strength. Respect. The future plays here. The Illinois High School Association. And the face she makes, the <laughs> smile. She gets so excited, it's almost like she's never done it before. <laughs> but she does it all the time. Taylor McCann will serve for Jack Wheeler. And trouble receiving the serve for Bloomington, so they just have to send it across. That ball is out. The Orient players want a touch at the net, but they're not going to get it. Yeah, and you saw Ashton Lee there mix that up. Originally, she had tipped the first one, second one, she's trying to go deep with it. That was close. Yeah. Shanks to serve. The backer with the touch, and that ball is out. Again, they're looking for some touch there, but I think she missed that hit. And Hancock is being called over by the official, and I think he's saying, girls, you've complained about it twice, let's let it go. And Hancock smiles and talks to her teammates. That's what a captain does. Saints on a bit of a run here now. Scored the last couple of points. They'll have a chance here. And they'll take advantage of that chance. And there she is again. First time we've seen Maddie Malinowski in this game. Oh, great way to set an impression in the game, right? There she goes. Well, don't right forget about me, ladies. <laughs> and a timeout taken by Orion as the Saints are moving their way back into this match. At least this game, leading one set to nothing. Well, you look at Central Catholic through their season. We talked about that regional game. They've been in this position before where they can climb back, and it'll be interesting to see Orion if they can hang on to this lead and just keep on pushing to that third game. Orion, member of the Three Rivers Conference, Bloomington Central Catholic plays in the Corn Belt Conference, which is a very good small school conference here in Central Illinois. Yeah, we have uh, Corn Belt Conference has U High, uh, Central Catholic Olympia, Field, uh, not, me, Field Crest. Um, Eureka Crest was good this year, Eureka too. Eureka, too. Yep, they made it to a sectional, which actually lost to Orion in the sectional. Good volleyball. So Shanks waiting for the whistle. She gets it. Saints will try to inch closer. Again, trouble receiving that serve. And that's outside the pin, and a much needed point for Orion. That 20 mark is important in a game to 25, so 
Look for Orion to try and take the lead here, not allow Central any more points. Yeah, huge mental advantage when you get to 21st. Kept alive, this is a good point here. The backer. This part of the game has become outside hitting. Until the end of the point, two points in a row. She has successfully hit that ball in the middle. Malinowski leading the Saints with nine kills. And she's tied Ashton Lee. Lee's got nine kills for Orion. If he would have told Jared Bannister, Malinowski have as many kills as Ashton Lee, he would have said, we've got to be winning that match. And he is. Uh, I think if DeBacker would have let it go, it would have been a point for Orion. Instead, the Saints get it, and they pulled it within two. And again, still that light, carefree attitude. Knopfziger <laughs> will serve way long. Yeah, there's a little more relaxed feeling when you have that one set underneath yes. you. Macy Hancock will serve. Lee not able to handle the hit from Hardeman. Hardeman's had success hitting line, but that time she went straight cross to Ashton Lee. Hardeman will serve down two. Great coverage by the Saints. Central air in that point. Oh, that was huge. When you see Central defense just not giving up going after every ball, you think this ball's going to go out, and they're after it. Again, this is with Lee in the back row. Huge difference offensively and defensively. Horniman. Orion needs a side out in the worst way, and they're not going to get it. And once again, it's Malinowski. Dominating the middle for Central Catholic. That is out. And the Saints have come all the way back to take the advantage, and they're three points away. Timeout, Orion. Good idea by DeBailey, or DeBailey, I should say, but just hit it too far outside. Well, what happened in this second game? Well, I definitely think you see Central Catholic being the, having that relaxed feeling because they won, and they can play with a little more aggressive with no fear. And Orion, you see them a little bit more back on their heels because they need to win this game to take it to three. Like we talked about, there's a lot of advantage to having that first set underneath your belt. Orion had a big advantage here in this second set, but it's gone. Fans aren't giving up, and serving will be Hordeman. Double contact. And here it is. Two points to match point here for Central Catholic coming back. Orion getting a nice side out here. Great serve. Lee can't handle it. It's championship point.
What an effort, what a comeback by the Saints. And that's it. Central Catholic winning. Well, I think we saw Central Catholic yesterday a little more relaxed, but coming in here, they just really dominated. They, all their players really contributed to this win. And Orion is shocked. They had a big lead in that second game. What a great season Orion had, though, going 40 and 0 up to the championship match. And the match ends with Ashton Lee in the back row for about the last 10 or 11 points. Yeah. What a match, what a team performance by Bloomington Central Catholic, and they have every right to celebrate their first ever volleyball championship. It comes in their hometown, Bloomington Normal, at Redbird Arena. The IHSA is motivation, effort, innovation, emotion, community. The future plays here. The Illinois High School Association. First ever state volleyball championship for Bloomington Central Catholic, 25-20, 25-21 over Orion. Laura Dornbos is with a couple of very happy Saints. Here's Central Catholic State champions yeah. now. Hey, you came into this match with a team that was 40 and 0, looking to be perfect. What did you tell your team coming into this? I told them at this point, records don't matter. Everybody was here the same. You know, they won just as many once we started postseason. So I told them that we come in here, we got to leave everything on the floor. It's the only game we have left for this year. And what do you think? You were down in that second game, and they had quite a big lead. What did you tell them to get them going in that second? We had to pick up our passing. Our, our, our offense was not going where it was. We were using our middles a lot, and then we kept going to the There's outside, it seemed like. So I told them just to relax, start getting the ball up there so we can start doing it. We served a little more aggressive. Yeah, girls talked aggressive. a little bit more, and I think once we finally tied it 21, I think that kind of shifted everything because the girls really believed that they could finish it out. Yeah. All right, well, you had a great match. You know, today you were hitting the line, you were hitting cross. What did you feel was a big factor in winning this game? I think we just needed to come out ready to play, and we knew that. 40 and 0, but that didn't stop us. We just knew we had to come out fighting. And even when we got down in the second game, we just knew we've done it before. So all we had to do is just come back and fight. Yeah. Well, let's see. You've been down before. I was thinking of a regional match where you guys were down 24, 21, right? Did you sense any of that? Like we've been here before? Yeah, definitely. We just knew what to do. We just kept fighting, and um, it finally came back, and we we won. So it's awesome. It's an unbelievable feeling. Well, congratulations, you. you two. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Head coach, Sarah Bannister, and the star of the day, Kate Horderman. Trophy presentation's underway. Let's send it over to the public address announcer, Mr. Greg Gardner. Number 16, Hannah Kuntz. Number 17, Kaylin Wilson. Number 19, Kaylee Wheeler. Number 20, Kelsey Darnell. Number 22, Matty Holland. Number 23, Tori Kuntz. Number 25, Kerry Langan. Number 26, Blair Johnston. On statistics, Whitney Fox. And the scorekeeper, Earl Pfeiffer. Now will Coach Lisa Pfeiffer and the captains of Shelbyville 
High School, please step forward to receive your fourth place trophy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the fourth place finishers in state volleyball competition. Now at this time, please meet the Trojans of Timothy Christian, who finished the 2015 season in third place with a final record of 37 wins and five losses. First, let's meet the superintendent Timothy of Timothy Christian High School, Matt Davidson. Principal Brad Mitchell. Athletic Director Jack Legrand. The Head Coach Scott Piersma. Associate Coach John Hamelink. Associate Coach Jordan Skinner. And now let's say hello to the players of this third place team. Number one, Zoe Stanton. Number two, Heather Kosiel. Number three, Rachel Stoll. Number four, Olivia Hookstra. Number five, Emily Dapour. Number six, Tracy Westra. Number seven, Kendra Tooney. Number eight, Allison DeBoer. Number nine, Hope Zastro. Number 10, Danny Van Layton. Number 11, Grace Miller. Number 12, Abby Groters. Number 13, Ava Venema. Number 14, Abigail Ahn. Number 15, Ruth Haraska Kelly. Number 16, Emily Schmidt. Number 17, Nikki Quasagro. Now will Coach Scott Piersma and the captains of Timothy Christian High School please step forward to receive your third place trophy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Trojans of Timothy Christian High School. At this time, please meet the Chargers of Orion. Uh, they finished the 2015 season in second place with a final record of 40 wins and one loss. Meet the superintendent of Orion High School, David Dietz. Principal Nathan DeBailey. Girls Athletic Director Morgan Leffel. Head coach for the Chargers, Jack Wheeler. Assistant coaches, Tori Matson. Assistant coach, Haley Jones. Assistant coach, Shelly Hutton. And now the players. Number four, Abby Van Dyne. Number seven, Haley Miller. 
Number 10, Katie DeBaker. Number 15, Mackenzie Smith. Number 16, Anna Nordstrom. Number 17, Cassidy Schultz. Number 19, Carly DeBailey. Number 20, Ashley McCunn. Number 21, Macy Hancock. Number 22, Sarah Matikovich. Number 23, Ashton Lee. Number 24, Alexandra Mack. Number 25, Maya Campbell. Number 30, Ashlyn Kane. Number 32, Taylor McCunn. And the manager, Lauren Matson. Now will Coach Jack Wheeler and the captains of Orion High School please step forward to receive your second place trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chargers of Orion High School. Now at this time, please meet the Saints of Bloomington Central Catholic High School, who finished their 2015 season in first place with a final record of 35 wins and five losses. First, let's meet the superintendent of Central Catholic High School, Sharon Weiss. Now let's meet the principal, Sean Foster. And now let's meet the head coach, J.R. Bannister. Assistant coach, Teresa Ulrich. Assistant coach, Jacqueline Lindsay. Assistant coach Amy Peterson. Assistant coach Isabella Ducknell. And now let's meet the players on this state championship team. Number one, Alyssa Osterberg. Number two, Claire Swanson. Number four, Carly Nofsiger. Number five, Kennedy Sheehan. Number six, Bailey Kaufman. Number seven, Manny Holt. Number eight, Erica Moore. Number nine, Mikhail English. Number 10, Meg Dunneen. Number 11, Kate Horderman. Number 12, Sydney Shanks. Number 13, Matty Malinowski. Number 14, Hannah Kaunick. 
Number 15, Kelly Slater. Number 16, Morgan Cook. That's Bo. And number three, Claire Bo. Now, will Coach J.R. Bannister and the captains of the Saints please step forward, step forward to receive the first place trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, your state champions, the Saints. First volleyball championship for Bloomington Central Catholic. What's interesting, we saw one streak come to an end today. Orient had won 40 in a row. But after starting 9-5, and five, Bloomington Central Catholic has won its last 26 matches. Pretty outstanding. You know, we looked at the score table earlier. They were down. Central Catholic was down 9-16 to 16 in that second match. And what perseverance it took to get them to that end. But it was that carefree attitude that we're seeing right now that really was the difference. Even when they were down 16-9, to nine, they still had smiles on their faces and they never felt pressure. Yeah, they definitely looked relaxed a lot more back than uh, Orion did at that point. Well, we also have to send a shout out also to a young lady that we didn't see in the tournament, Claire Bow, who's headed to Duquesne. One of their best players didn't even play. Yeah, it was an unfortunate uh, occurrence that that happened, but what a great supporter she's been, and she will be playing against her sister in college who plays at St. Louis University, Meredith Bow. So what a fun uh, future she has. Some of the highlights of this heavyweight matchup between Orion and Bloomington Central Catholic, won by the Saints. Malinowski had a huge day. And that's the final point that set off the celebration. The hometown girls winning it here at Redburn Arena, Bloomington Normal. That doesn't have to go far to their trophy case, does it? No, it doesn't. Gonna wrap things up for Lauren Dormos. I'm Scott Slocum. Thanks for watching IHSA Volleyball on Comcast Sportsnet.